Twitter. <laughs> What's that? Red Devil Pumpkin Spice or something? I have had my coffee. Don't worry. Fifteen fifty-one. Not something? No, just fifteen. No, I'll just get a drink. I think. Is there any reason the mint drinks are so popular in winter time? I don't know. I hate them. I mean, yeah, it's I like that you're brushing. I hate them. It's like you're brushing your teeth, you yes. know, while drinking hot chocolate. I don't like mint chocolate chili. <laughs> and my favorite, my mom and my sister grew up eating all of it. Really? <gasps> yes, and I was like, good, more for oh, you. Okay. Hot chocolate. I can do that. Small or large? Uh, can I get the large one? Large? Yes. <laughs> Oh, okay, I didn't expect this. Yeah, I didn't expect this. <laughs> okay. so yeah, the coffee is like chocolate. <laughs> There's a French flag. I think it's, but, uh, it's okay. It's it's... <laughs> but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing special about it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at you. Customer's costume. <laughs> So 
What are you going to have? Hi. Can I have one salted caramel? Sure. What, what do you want to have? The cookie and cream? Sure. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, here's Chinatown already. <laughs> I think mainly because of. It's for the sauce. I didn't say a thing. Curious about what we're eating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes, Just cover the entire oh. plate. Oh. Okay. So, what did you need to do? It was mm. more of a really shop in our town. He was making ravioli with the, oh, how do you call it in English? The jambon pay and the hamon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with hamon.
conversation about what counts as offensive. He's here for 15 years. Universities and existing universities have all kinds of problems, and they're going to go set up something new. And among other things, said that professors are going to be running universities takes a lot of work and time and money. <laughs> investment in things that are frankly not very just and do all the things that again all of us do for no. academic freedom and campus speech you know for right. us as professors is that the way the politics and economics of right. and so that the problem with academic freedom is we're trying to make a commitment to the sifting and winnowing especially one that is set up by people with this particular context not create a bubble of self-censorship that we all have how do we think of uh, this? It's overwhelming from the administration that's politically homogenous than the professor. So I think that these concerns and we should take them in and valid and we should try and have that detached discussion. I mean, again, that's the essence of what we try and do as teachers in some diversity at some of these universities. Come up to the professor and say, the not all here, but I, I think that's nuts. I think it's striking and telling to some extent so many of these high profile teachers about how things like work in front of No, 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 no.
I have one? Two minutes. Potato mozzarella. A seventy. Ooh, let me try. I hope the carrots are fully cooked. Mm, where is it? Okay. It's perfect for winter. Mm. Yeah. Well, so you want to travel to Japan? We think so. Mm. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Like, like the first night, or even like as soon as we arrive. Well, that's pretty quick then. It's not so quick. It's a shame. It's not at the airport. Straight from the plane. Mm, if we were landing in Haneda, it's pretty close. Your yeah. house is too slow. It's like a jet. Thank you. 